Welcome to the Daily Quiz Podcast. Today's category is Art and Literature. Let's get to it. Question 1. The painting number 5, 1948 by Jackson Pollock is a part of which art movement? Is it A. Post-Impressionism B. Fauvism C. Northern Renaissance Or D. Abstract Expressionism The answer is D. Abstract Expressionism Number 5, 1948 by Jackson Pollock holds a unique record in the art world it is one of the most expensive paintings ever sold. In 2006, this abstract expressionist masterpiece was purchased for a staggering $140 million, making it one of the highest-priced artworks in history. Question 2. Which book contains the character Aureliano Buendia? Is it A. Under the Volcano B. The Sound and the Fury C. 100 Years of Solitude Or D. The English Patient The answer is C. 100 Years of Solitude. In 100 Years of Solitude, the character Aureliano Buendia is known for his fascination with alchemy and his ability to decipher ancient prophecies. Interestingly, he spends much of his time secluded in a workshop filled with mysterious jars and books, adding an element of mystique to the already enchanting narrative. Question 3. Which author penned the Discworld series of sci-fi novels? Is it A. Isaac Asimov B. Brandon Sanderson C. Stephen King Or D. Terry Pratchett The answer is D. Terry Pratchett Terry Pratchett, the brilliant mind behind the Discworld series, once declared that the trouble with having an open mind, of course, is that people will insist on coming along and trying to put things in it. His witty and insightful writing style continues to captivate readers worldwide with its unique blend of humor and wisdom. Question 5. Which book contains the character Stephen Maturin? Is it A. Gone with the Wind? B. The Thin Man C. Heart of Darkness Or D. Master and Commander The answer is D. Master and Commander In the book Master and Commander, the character Stephen Matron is not only a skilled physician but also a naturalist with a passion for studying wildlife. His character is based on the real-life Irish physician and naturalist, Patrick O'Brien, who authored the acclaimed Aubrey Matron series of historical novels. Question 6. Which of the following is not a famous Renaissance artist? Is it A. Leonardo da Vinci B. Raphael C. Michelangelo Or D. Gianluigi Buffon The answer is D. Gianluigi Buffon. Gianluigi Buffon, known as one of the greatest goalkeepers in soccer history, is the odd one out in this list of Renaissance artists. While he may not be painting masterpieces like Leonardo da Vinci or Michelangelo, Buffon's skill and longevity on the field have earned him a place in sports history. Question 7. Which author wrote Hamlet? Is it A. William Shakespeare B. Arthur C. Clarke C. Enid Blyton Or D. Isaac Newton The answer is A. William Shakespeare William Shakespeare, the author of Hamlet, is not only known for his literary works but also for his unique vocabulary. It's estimated that he introduced over 1,700 words to the English language, including eyeball, swagger, and even bedazzled. Shakespeare truly left a lasting impact on how we communicate today. 
Question 8. Which legendary mime picked up a 1955 Emmy for Best Specialty Act? Is it A. Buster Keaton? B. Marcel Marceau? C. Jacques Tati? Or D. Charlie Chaplin? The answer is B. Marcel Marceau. Marcel Marceau, the legendary mime who won a 1955 Emmy for Best Specialty Act, was not only a master of silence but also a hero during World War II. He used his miming skills to save Jewish children by leading them through the Alps to safety, proving that actions truly speak louder than words. As we close the chapter on this quiz, remember, life imitates art, so keep painting your own masterpiece. Until next time, stay creatively curious. I'm Montgomery Jones. And I'm Amalia Dupre. Good night for now, until we cross paths again tomorrow. This episode is produced by Classic Studios. See the show notes page for sources and credits. Check out our other podcasts in our network at classicstudios.com.